Ishana, I am with. I am so excited to talk to you right now. I'm a huge fan of your work. So it's amazing you're just killing the directing and producing game. But is horror right now like where you want to be or do you see yourself kind of expanding to different areas? Definitely. I think uh, I didn't purposefully do that. But horror just ended up, I think, being the language that I feel most comfortable in. Um, and so every kind of concept that I'm interested in exploring, I think, just ends up bending that way. So. Yeah. And, and what I love about your directing style is a lot of the cinematography you have put into it. Yeah. So when you're learning as you're starting out, are you still always tweaking the craft, learning more things? Like, is there a source you like to go to or like a ritual? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think what I've learned in these last couple of years is that the moment that you stop learning, you become a more stagnant artist. Um, so that's something I kind of continually try to imbue into my craft is the process of watching movies. Um, so like any kind of recommendations that I get from my friends, I'll put down on a list. Um, just trying to kind of consume as much of, of the beautiful art that there is to consume. So Yeah, and it is beautiful art you do. And I, I think it's just like really exciting to see your career grow. So for you, though, is there as you keep doing it, is there stuff that you kind of want to make your stamp? Like, is there a certain, like, oh, that's as Sean is directing. Like, do you feel that subconsciously when you're directing at all? Yeah, I mean, I think it's not something that I am consciously thinking of when I'm directing, but uh, my dad and I do have really kind of different life experiences and me being a young woman as well just, just makes the kind of leans that I have different than his, even though the, at the base they might look the same. So I do think you can feel in my episodes and particularly in the later episodes, my personality in them a bit. So Yeah, and that's what's cool. It's exciting to see before each episode, like, oh, okay, what episode are you doing? So how do you guys go about that though? Like, are you like, oh, I want that one. Like, how are you picking it from script? How does that go about? Absolutely. Um, my dad usually picks the episodes and kind of fits them with whichever director he feels sort of suit the, suits those uh, the leans of the episode. Um, but I've been in a really lucky position where I get to write and direct some of them. So for me, as I'm writing and one feels like me, I'll be like, I want to do this episode. Let me do this episode and kind of go to the producers and ask. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a specific thing. But they're, each one is, is crafted to, to the creators. Is there anything in particular from such a great cast on the show you learned from as a director, just working with actors of that caliber? Oh my God. It's just, I mean, it's really the most beautiful experience. They're all so different um, and all so incredibly talented. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, the cinema experience is very much about uh, what they can give and what we can give and meeting those in the middle. So you can always, I think, enhance a, per a performance ends up way different than you thought it would be because an actor is bringing so, such depth to it. So That's amazing. Great answer. Everyone check out Servant this Friday. Sean, thanks for talking to me. Talk to you. Such a pleasure. Thank you.